will be in Luke chapter 1 today. Looking at that section where Mary meets Elizabeth. In Luke 1, verse 39, it says, In those days Mary set out and hurried to a town in the hill country of Judah, where she entered Zechariah's house and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leapt inside her, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Then she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and your child will be blessed. How could this happen to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For you see, when the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the baby leapt for joy inside me. Blessed is she who has believed that the Lord would fulfill what he has spoken to her. And my reflections on this devotion today, notice that Mary and Elizabeth were cousins. So they knew each other. And when Mary approached Elizabeth, full of Christ, the Holy Spirit entered and was filled in Elizabeth. And that there was great joy in this. And that she was expressing great joy in her interaction with Mary and just can tell that there's a bond there. My application for that is that I am filled with Christ. And as I interact with family members and friends and the fellowship of the faith and other Christians and brothers and sisters, I should be also an encouragement to them that Christ in me should also bring forth Christ and the Holy Spirit in them, that we should bond together in that, in accord. And so that application that I can take away to my life is make sure that Christ is riding high in my life and that I am following him with my heart so that he can be seen in me and others can see it and be blessed as well. On around the question of who in my life encourages my faith, there are five men that I do life with, but I would be remiss not mentioning my mother and especially my wife. Both of them help me encourage my faith as I move forward. But I do life with five men, Ben, Mark, Damon, John, and Chris. These men I'm transparent with, they know me, I know them, and we share one another. And each one of these in their own way encourages my faith and helps me grow. And as for me, how can I be a blessing to them for what they provide to me? One, I can tell them, which I do at times. But I think that me growing in Christ and them seeing me grow in Christ is the greatest blessing that can be shown. As I share it with them, as they can see it because we're so transparent, I think that's the greatest blessing that I can give them. So in closing, I'm going to pray today. Dear gracious and heavenly Father, thank you for being such a good God. Thank you for giving your son. And thank you for giving them to us. That we get to walk around with Christ inside us. That we walk to be more like Christ. And that it can be seen. And that you change us from who we are. Thank you. God, help the community of believers in the church. Help all that follow you. Especially during this Christmas season. Look more to you and follow you with their whole hearts. And in your name, amen. Amen.